Hey Vikes, I'm Allie and you're watching SVTV. Yesterday we were off school for Martin Luther King Day. Here's some of the history behind it. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up. This Monday was Martin Luther King Day. Martin Luther King Jr. was one of the most impactful civil rights leaders we had in the past century. A former pastor, a loving father, and a true contributor to where we are in civil rights today. We went to Mr. Cromey to learn why Martin Luther King was so important. Martin Luther King Jr. is one of the most important, if not the most important, leader of the um, American civil rights movement and probably civil rights movements worldwide. A lot of the things that Dr. King did, and he, and he, he talked about this when he, was, when he was alive, that the efforts that he was involved in were not just about um, equality for African Americans. He spoke a lot about creating a world where everyone was equal. Martin Luther King was an American hero and his legacy will continue to impact our future. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Life would be a lot different without him. Now for the daily announcements. For Snowball, outside date forms are in the office and Spirit Club is looking for Spirit Week themes. FCCLA is hosting a seminar competition to raise money for human trafficking victims. The winning seminar gets a prize. Sophomores and juniors, make sure you have Mac OS High Sierra installed on your laptops. This will be for state testing. Congratulations to any FBLA or Art Club members that placed at their events this weekend. The Writing Center will be closed tomorrow during seminar. Now over to Josh with more information on the snow chance tonight. Good afternoon. We have some active weather on the way later today. Let's time it out for you with our simulated radar. By 3 p.m., I think the rain starts to transition over to freezing rain and slick spots could begin to develop. You see this pink here? That's the sign of rain falling, but temperatures below 32 degrees at the surface. So freezing on contact, and that means a layer of ice on the roads. Now, as we head towards 6 p.m., this icing continues, but it starts to change over to snow as well. And by 9 p.m., it is a moderate snowfall across the area. It could be some breaks in the later evening hours, but we expect redevelopment of snow continuing through the overnight hours here going through Wednesday morning as well. But by sunrise, any remaining snow flurries are out of the area. So here's what we're looking at in terms of the storm system as a whole. Winter weather advisories are in effect from 5 p.m. this evening through 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's the most likely time frame for hazardous weather conditions. And here's what I've done with our snowfall forecast, calling for anywhere from one to four inches of snow. Yes, this is a pretty big range, but you have to understand we're going to be transitioning through multiple types of precipitation. So there is a little bit of uncertainty, a little bit of wiggle room, anywhere from one to four inches along with the icing going to make for some very slick road conditions. Well, so let's talk about impacts. Here's what we're thinking tomorrow morning. Primary roads could be a little bit better because their treatment uh, should be in effect by morning. Low to moderate impacts. Secondary roads going to be slick tomorrow morning, and there is a chance we could be looking at school cancellations. So just make sure you're checking sources tomorrow morning. And now for your SVTV 7-day forecast, as you can see, that we do drop through the day down to 16 tonight. Temperatures have already hit their high. Again, that ice to snow, and then it's a pretty chilly next seven days. Highs predominantly in the 30s, except for Thursday in the 20s and Sunday in the 40s. Now, Allie, back to you. The boys' basketball team went to Valley Center this weekend. Let's see how they did. 
Seaman traveled to Valley Center to compete in the January Jam Basketball Tournament. Their first game they played, Mays South, and lost. Their second game, they played Wichita Northwest and lost. They played for 7th place against Ulysses and won. Kobe Bonner led the tournament with most points scored. The boys will be back in action this Friday at Topeka High. Due to a technical difficulty, I'll be here every day this week again. See you tomorrow, bikes. Thank you.